Agriculture is our number one industry in the state of New York. There's about 36,000 farms in the state of New York responsible for about 200,000 jobs. Uh, it's important for us to keep this industry alive. Senator John Bonasek joins your voice today to talk about how a stronger farming economy makes a stronger New York. I'm Julia Locandy and this is your voice. How are you, Senator? I'm doing well, Julia. That's a lot of jobs and a it lot of farms, people it, probably don't realize. It is. And uh, what we always do in the legislature is try to communicate with our New York City colleagues about how important agricultural is. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I first uh, was in the assembly, I used to arrange tours and invite the uh, city assembly people to come up, go to different kind of farms, produce farm, a winery, uh, a dairy farm, so they could experience uh, what it's like to see agriculture in person. I didn't have a milk a cow, but I have done that in the past. But, but you know, you'd be surprised how many of the city legislatures never get in the country and never see agriculture, you know, up front. Uh, so, um, and we need them to understand how important this industry is, uh, as you saw in my remarks, for economic vitality and job creation. Uh, so, and we are uh, one of the leading agricultural states in the country, uh, both for cheese, dairy, and yogurt, and uh, uh, we're getting stronger. We're getting stronger. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. Yeah, everyone certainly enjoys the things that farms produce. Absolutely. And, you know, we were with the Farm Bureau, mm -hmm. and, uh, and we were with some 4-H uh, students that came from four counties. Uh, and what 4-H uh, students are, they, uh, they're very familiar with the agricultural program. They're exposed to it at a young age. Some of their uh, mothers and fathers are involved in farming. Some of, these, uh, some of the children actually are doing farming. Uh, and uh, they understand it as a way of life. And we took pictures with them. Uh, but what was interesting in uh, our convention center, the Farm Bureau uh, set up what they call Farm Day, for no better uh, word. And there were like a hundred exhibits all over this convention center. Keep in mind, this convention center can hold between four and 5,000 people. And I'm even impressed uh, with the variety of products uh, that we have in the state of New York. All the different kinds of wines, uh, the cheese, I'm going to get hungry talking now, you know, that <laughs> they had the cheesecakes out, uh, all of the different pies, uh, all of the different kinds of fruit. Uh, they uh, had uh, many of the cookies and uh, you saw they talked about, you know, how uh, these products are made. But and this is something I never realized. They were given out these little containers of milk. There was chocolate chip mi milk. There was strawberry milk. There was cappuccino, and you know they're trying to promote their products of milk, and kids today are gravitating to soda, and uh, you know we're concerned with obesity and the calories. So you you want it uh, to be like a cool drink, uh, cool meaning it's okay to drink milk, and it looks cool, you know, green milk and strawberry milk, and so they let you take it, and I took it to my office. They were all gone in three hours. Everybody was drinking milk. <laughs> So, and these are people that drink soda all the time, but it's, they're creative and you have to do that. Uh, and we want to continue to help them. Uh, we did a one house uh, resolution, which is like a budget bill that tells Governor Cuomo and the assembly what our priorities are. And agriculture is our priority. We restored a lot of money into all of the programs uh, of agriculture, including the 4-H. So uh, it's very important uh, to all of the upstate senators. And, uh, and so, you know, in my new redistricting, uh, I picked up what they call the black dirt. And that's in Pine Island in Florida. And the black dirt is one of two places in the United States that has this kind of soil. And it's very fertile for uh, all kinds of vegetables and, and uh, sod. Uh, and uh, it's, it's so I'm a champion 
for you know agriculture. And the other thing that where they face a big threat is flooding. Uh, with all of the flooding problems we have upstate. They, they get hit hard. And the other thing we're always fighting, the DEC always wants to control their ability to put pesticide uh, on their farms to kill insects that eat, you know, eat the crops. So uh, we always have this battle and balance. Uh, certainly we don't want to poison the soil, we certainly don't want to poison the food, and we don't. And there's a big push to buy organic and buy homegrown. And that's our program. Uh, we want 20% of all governments in the state of New York and the state itself and municipalities to buy their products in New York, like for our prisons and everything. And so this is big business and it's our number one industry. Right. I pulled you aside uh, the other day to find out the details. This plan is called Grown in New York. So let's take a listen to what you had to say. Okay. All right. Probably one of the hardest occupations in the state of New York. They're subject to Mother Nature, they're subject to uh, subsidies in Washington, and uh, it's a very difficult for them to keep going 24-7 uh, throughout the year. We in the Senate uh, have put forth a proposal uh, to help our farmers and uh, it consists of several measures. Uh, number one is that we want to have all of our government, state government and local municipalities buy local. 20 percent of all the things bought for our crops and our milk and our fruit, we want bought here in the, in the state of New York. The second thing is we want to uh, help them with the energy tax, uh, to take away assessments, uh, cap the property taxes for them. Uh, just a series of economic relief from regulations. Uh, and I do believe that uh, when all is said and done, uh, this will help our farmers uh, stay viable. Uh, what was disturbing to me is that f uh, five out of six farmers are over 75 years of age. And the other one out of six is 25 years of age. We need more young people to stay in farming. And another creative device was uh, a farm account where they could accumulate money tax-free to either buy a small farm, help them with uh, the maintenance of a farm, or unexpected losses. So getting rid of these regulations really strengthening the bottom line for these farmers. Absolutely. Um, and by the way, yesterday we met with several uh, farmers that came up here uh, talking about uh, the issues they're having with the Department of Labor and having a sufficient workforce to, to plant their crops. So it's ongoing with agriculture.